So we're gonna make three different flavors with three different techniques so everybody can master the sausage roll at home. And I guess we better let Babe decide what one's the best. All right, we're gonna start with the easiest one. All I've done is bought some great quality lamb and rosemary sausages from my local butcher, some puff pastry. Let's get stuck in. So for all these, we're gonna need an egg wash. I just like to use egg yolk. Give it a little whisk so it's homogenous, and that's good to go. Simply grab a sheet of puff pastry, take your sausage, run a blade down it, and remove the casing. Once you've peeled that casing back, place it on your puff pastry and fill up that last gap. Make sure they're nice and tight. So we'll just keep filling these up before we start rolling. So take your puff pastry over so you'll almost close the gap and some egg wash so that we can seal it properly. Peel your backing plastic or paper off. And over she goes. Now run your knife along the pastry for the next one. Remove that side and we'll use a little bit more egg wash just to make sure that that seam stays shut. So seam side down, and that one's good to go. The baking sheet lined with paper, it's a sharp knife, straight down. And you'll end up with little pieces like that. Lay them out on your tray. So now we just need to egg wash these, and then we're gonna to top them with a bit of oregano, and we'll get them in the fridge to chill down before we put them in the oven. Into the fridge. All right, option two. If you've got a bit more time, we're gonna make our own filling. So we've got some pork mince, you want 80, 20 uh, lean to fat, sage and onion. We'll caramelize these, season this up, and we'll get rolling. So we'll start with our caramelized onions because we need them to be cold by the time we uh, put them through the pork mince. So two red onions, just nice and diced. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want a fairly small dice. So into a pan, a couple of tablespoons of uh, high temp oil. Once your pan's up to heat, onions go in. Good pinch of salt, some pepper, and we're just sweating them down. We don't want heaps of color here. We're not after a full caramelization. Okay, so that only took about three or four minutes. A little bit of color, some of the harshness taken out of them, onto a plate and into the fridge to cool. So the sage, we've got a bunch of sage and we're gonna chiffonade this nice and fine. Sage is pretty strong, um, it can be overpowering, absolutely delicious, but it can be overpowering. So don't go too crazy. So, in a bowl, pork mince goes in, sage, 10 grams of salt, which is slightly less than you'd have for a sausage filling, and our cooled red onions. Now you can do this with a wooden spoon, but it's much easier just to use your hand, to be honest, because you want to work this mince. But this is what you're looking for. It all holds together, it's got a nice kind of tacky consistency, and perfect for making the, uh, the sausage roll. So we're going to wrap this into a cylindrical shape, and then we'll fill it in the pastry. Pull some cling film out. Oh yeah, you know it's sticky when it won't come out of the bowl. Put it on your plastic, uh, and you want to get a rough log. Um, these sausage rolls I want relatively thick. Even it out, start rolling, and you want a bit over the edge so that you've got room to play. Go back the other way, cut that off, and then pull your ends tight. And this is where you can control how tight this is by how much you spin this around. All right, I'm gonna pop that into the fridge just to chill down a bit. All right, this has been resting a while, uh, and as you can probably tell, we're gonna make these a bit bigger. So we're only gonna get two sausage rolls from each of these. So we're gonna cut our sausage into three, place that down, and then just spread your filling out so it's even and fills to each end. So again, just avoiding air bubbles. We don't want air bubbles on this. And then just like last time, egg wash at where you think roughly the seam's gonna be, over it goes. Keeping it nice and tight, just like you're rolling a, uh, you're making a tamaki or a sushi roll. So make sure you've got a, a fair amount of overlap on this one. So I'm looking at like almost it overlaps the whole way on the bottom. And then we'll run our knife down there. And there she is. Now we're just gonna cut these in half and you've got a really nice lunch for someone. Bit of salad on the side. Ooh, delish. Onto a lined baking sheet again. And then just like the last ones, egg wash. And be generous with the egg wash because that's what's gonna make it all golden brown and crispy. And these ones, we're just gonna top with some black and white sesame seeds. Just like the last ones, into the fridge to chill for at least half an hour before we bake them off. All right, on to the last one. And it's not that tricky because of the filling. It's gonna be a bit more complicated because we're gonna make our own rough puff pastry. So let me run you through that really quickly first. So get your flour, salt, an ice cold cube butter into a bowl and rub it between your fingers. Add a dash of cold water and bring it together. Notice the size of the butter, it's still pretty large. Then onto a floured bench service, you're gonna roll this dough out. 
You're gonna keep it nice and neat and tidy, and then you're gonna fold it into three. Cover this in cling film and into the fridge to rest for at least half an hour. After the half an hour, you're gonna pull it back out the fridge and you're gonna repeat that last step. Flower surface and roll it out, keeping it nice and neat and then folding it over three times. Back in the fridge to rest and then you're gonna repeat this whole step four more times. So now we're at the final stage of the pastry. It's time to get our filling ready and we'll get that chilling as well. So pork mince, thyme and speck or bacon. So we're gonna start by dicing this. So a nice relatively small dice. All right, so the thyme, I've got this really nice big bunch of thyme here and we're just gonna strip the leaves. If you can't find fresh thyme, just use some dried thyme. Just run your knife through it. And then same as last time, into a bowl, 80-20 lean to fat pork mince, your diced speck, the fresh thyme, the 10 grams of salt, and we're gonna go pepper in this one too. All right, time to get your hands dirty. Like last time, we've got our nice sticky sausage mince. Cling film out, let's see if it'll come out this time. Hey, winner. Now, like I was saying before, we're gonna do a family size one and then slice it after. Roll it and back in the cling film and all this does is keep the ends nice and tight. So there you have it. Now we're gonna chuck this in the fridge to cool down and firm up before we roll it in our rough puff pastry that's almost ready. All right, our rough puff is ready, so it's time to roll it out. Pretty simply, dust your board a little bit, and then we're just gonna roll it out as even as we can. If you've made this the day before, which is perfectly acceptable to do, you might wanna leave it out of the fridge for sort of 10 to 15 minutes before you start rolling it. So there you go, that's what we're looking for. About that thick, it's kinda of hard to see. I'm gonna call that two mils. Okay, ready to start filling. All right, our meat's been in the fridge for about an hour, so cut your cling film off, make sure you get all the plastic off, and she goes. So we're gonna fold this one slightly differently. We're gonna bring it over, and then we're gonna have an edge on one side that we're gonna crimp with a fork, and then we'll trim it up. And then we can get as elaborate as we want with the decoration, but let's just start with the folding over parts. We just wanna kind of figure out where our dough's gonna meet. Egg wash, just make sure she sticks. Okay, so we're gonna push that in quite tight. Then we're gonna trim it off and we'll finish everything else on the tray that we're gonna cook it in. So we're just trimming this off at this point. Line baking tray, we're gonna carefully put her on. And then using a fork, we're just gonna crimp it. Okay, we're gonna trim this up once more. Just so we have a really nice, clean finish. And then we're gonna egg wash the whole thing. And don't be shy with your egg wash. This is an optional step. Since we've got some excess, we're gonna try and put some of it to use. So we're just gonna cut some long strips. We'll start in the center, lay it over. And then we'll just go either side of that. And then instead of using sesame seeds, we're gonna use some fresh thyme leaves. Finally, just some flaky salt over the top. And then like the other sausage rolls, we're gonna get this in the fridge for a good half an hour, just for that pastry to firm up again. All right, these have all been resting in the fridge, some longer than others. We're gonna bake these all off at 180 degrees Celsius. I reckon these will take about 20, 25 minutes, all the way up to, this will probably take 45 minutes, but we're looking for a core temperature on the sausage meat of at least 75 degrees Celsius, which is about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's get them in the oven. Are these baby ones, they're good to go. I am gonna remove them pretty quickly so that the oil that's come from the pastry doesn't get soaked up to the pastry. And there she is. All right, we best get babe in to taste. What do you think? It's a lot of sausage rolls. <laughs> what is that? It's the family sausage roll, but we'll start here <laughs> exactly. first. Okay. That's good. Mm. It's classic. That one looks good. Mm. What's this one? Caramelized onion and sage. That sounds delicious. Mm, I like that. Mm. Now the big boy. Time for the big boy. I'm scared. Mm, me too. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> juicy. It smells amazing. Mm. Very herby. Mm. I like the little smoky undertone from the bacon. Honestly, the favourite for me has to go to these little suckers. It reminds me of going to parties when I was a little kid. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, I agree with you there. I just can't beat these. So good. 